Welcome back guys and gals to Javi and Ellie Travels. In this video, you're gonna see me trying to put the tow in place to our new 05 uh, Subaru. And before we continue, I'm gonna excuse myself for having the voice that I have. I'm feeling a bit under the weather. Starting this project, I thought everything was gonna be super complicated, super hard, since I never worked in this uh, car or I have never done a towing plate before in any other type of car or model. Honestly, with a few wax and a here and there, it was super simple. Just taking off the front bumper, the lights, the support bumper, and give it a go. First, I started taking the grill, then the clips under the bumper and in front of the tires. Super simple guys, after taking the rest of the clips and the bumper, it was super easy and you will see how the entire bumper just comes right off. In this model, it was only two bolts holding the top bumper to the support radiator. Here I'm pulling out the base, the base plate. I have never been big on instructions, but this time I decided to give it a look. And you will see throughout the video that I will take more than once a look to the instructions. I will say quite a few times. After figuring out how to take the support bumper, uh, where the screws were, I just grabbed my ratchet from Milwaukee and started uh, unscrewing them. And there were three bolts in each side and just came up right up. In here, you were gonna see me taking the lights off just uh, I don't quite remember if it was two or three bolts in top of the lights and one on the inside and they just came up right off Like I said before, you're gonna see me here taking a look on the instructions quite a few times throughout the video. After taking another look to the instructions, I decided that this piece that I'm taking right off, it was unnecessary and on the way for the bracket for me to bring it right up. Just cut it with a grinder and uh, give it a few wax with a hammer and it came right off. Just like the instructions say, I had to cut some of this plastic out 
in order for the bracket to fit perfectly just like a glove. In this part you will see me taking off the temperature sensor, one of the most important steps to take to place this bracket in this car. In here you're going to see me using an expandable bit just to make the holes a little bit bigger so when I place the bracket it will be much easier to have a wiggle of room to place the brackets. I did this for the bracket and for the car in both sides. And for this part, I needed the assistance of my best helper, my best friend, and my all-time companion, Ellie. Who is going to take over as I am feeling a bit under the weather. For this part of the installation, we had to figure out the correct position where to put the base plate and it was much better to do it together since we had to slide up the entire piece at once. At the moment of putting it into place, we also realized that there were some parts that had to be hammered down for the piece to slide up. For this part of the installation, we had to push it in a little bit and apply some pressure, but it wasn't hard at all. Once in the correct location, we also marked and drilled where the bolts would go. We also tried to put it into place and using the bolts and also the little plates that came in the kit to make sure that everything matched with uh, the holes of the plate and also um, the holes of the toe kit and we realized that unfortunately they did not match the holes of the plate and I keep saying holes once and once again so i apologize for that but uh, yeah this did not match um so we had to do a quick fix on that as well And a pro tip that we would like to share today is to spray a little bit of WD-40 on the drill head to smooth things out if yours gets stuck as ours did at this exact moment. When doing something like this, always remember to clean out the excess WD-40. Again, have you used the uni bit, or as most people know it, the expandable bit to enlarge the holes of the nut brackets as we had realized that they were not large enough for the bolts and this was the end result
from there we just tested that the bolt and uh, the nut brackets fit and um, they did thankfully it was just a little bit tricky to put them into place and make sure that the bolts were correctly placed and that they went all the way in Once done with this part, then uh, my presence was no longer required, so I went back inside to finish what I had to do, and Javi continued with putting back everything that he had previously taken off. Of course, um, always making sure that no leftover pieces or screws were laying around, as it is never a good sign to have anything left over at the end of any kind of installation especially if it is in or around a car you definitely do not want to be dropping anything off in the middle of the road in this case he was very careful to put everything back into place as if we later on have of course we're going to be towing this car and we don't want any debris or anything falling off of the car once we are on the highway. And let's not forget about the bumper sensors, which are super important. Again, Javi went back to the instructions to make sure he did the installation correctly.
and we haven't told you guys but the set that we purchased is the blue ox base plate kit with the removable arms and we ordered this set from eTrailer.com. As most of you all know, these tow bar accessories and anything related to towing a car, it's quite pricey. But, you know, you can justify the price, especially for this kit, because it is really good quality. So we were not super excited about spending so much money on just the tow bar kit. But once we got it, we were really satisfied with the quality of this tow bar kit. So we do recommend that you guys go with this brand. Also, something else that we want to mention is, of course, we are not sponsored by eTrailer.com. But we also recommend that you check their website for anything that you're looking for. Um, about vehicles, trailer parts, and parts and pieces and anything in between. They even have uh, stuff for RVs and motorhomes. So the website is full of usable items and very specific parts that you may not find anywhere else. We were looking for this kit all over the internet and the only people that had it was eTrailer.com. They have a huge selection, selection of things and they also have help videos, instructional videos so that it will make the process of installation so much easier if you're planning on doing it yourself. Another thing that we really enjoyed that we saw on the website is that they will be very clear about the fittings so they will help you match your vehicle with the parts that you need especially for tow bar kits it can get a little bit um, confusing finding the right parts because i mean if you're a first time user as us you won't really know which one you need but on the website they make it super easy to find so whatever you need just head there and more than likely they will have it or they will help you find the part or know what it is that you need something else that we really liked about the eTrailer.com was the service so customer service and shipping we did not need any assistance throughout the installation but they did a very um, good follow-up with us once we put the order so they would send us emails the day that they shipped the item and also when they were notified by the shipping company that the item had arrived. In our case, we had this delivered to the house of our friend here in Austin. And as soon as the shipping company dropped off the item, they sent us an email to let us know, which was really helpful in case anything happened to this item on the way or anything like that. On top of that, the shipping was super quick. It only took four to five days for us to receive the package. So overall, we were really, really satisfied with their service. Again, this video is not sponsored by them, but if you're looking for anything associated with flat towing or towing your car or anything alike, just head over to eTrailer.com and I assure you that you will find whatever you need there. Also, we are going to leave you guys the link to this specific kit that we bought for our Subaru. In case you're looking for it or anything like that, it is going to be on the description for the video. Again, this is the Blue Ox base plate kit with the removable arms.
And of course, the very last thing that Javi had to do was make sure that the bumper went back into place the correct way. For that, he had to make some adjustments, but again, this was a pretty easy process and we did not have any issues along the way. The instructions were also, were also very clear. So if you have that and a few tools, you can even do this yourself. As you can see, it wasn't difficult at all. Other than that, we just want to thank you all for being here and watching our content. We will follow up definitely on our flat towing experience for our Subaru. This is a new adventure for us. So in the near future, once we have plenty of tow miles with our small Subaru, we will give you the guys an update video on how it goes, how it works and all of the ins and outs. So keep an eye for that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave uh, uh, your comments and let us know as we would love to get a feedback also if you feel like give a thumbs up to this video and remember that we are on facebook and instagram over there you will see more of our day-to-day -day activities and things like that and as i already said i'm going to leave a link with the specific base base plate that we use in case you want to check it out thank you so much one more time and we will see you guys on the next one bye bye